An example of PPE pre-use check that you'll need to do often is a rubber insulating glove inspection. First, ensure the test date stamped on the cuff of the rubber insulating glove is within the last six months. Also, ensure the class number of the rubber insulating gloves is suitable for the highest voltage of exposure. The easiest and most commonly used method of inspection for rubber insulating gloves is known as the air roll-up test. Roll the glove, starting at the opening, until air is pushed to inflate the glove in the palm and fingers. Then watch and listen for any air leaks. Following the air test, visually inspect the gloves for defects and also feel for defects with your hands. Alternatively, a more effective air test uses a rubber insulating glove inflator. This device inflates the entire glove from the cuff up, leaving both your hands free to inspect the glove and listen and feel for air leaks. A best practice is to periodically turn the rubber insulating gloves inside out to inspect the inner surfaces, especially at the fingertips, where a jagged fingernail may have caused damage on the inside surface. The only difference between classes of rubber insulating gloves is the thickness of the rubber and their length. Any damage that impairs the thickness, even though the rubber insulating gloves may hold air, will eventually lessen or eliminate its effective protection. Both methods are appropriate ways to test for small holes or cracks in the rubber insulating gloves and to check for any defects. To ensure your safety, the air inflation and detailed visual examination for defects needs to happen every time rubber insulating gloves are used.